Hi. Hi, Jamie. Oh, sorry. Hi. Uh, I don't think we've been introduced. I'm David Furnish, Elton's partner. Hi, David. Elton has asked me to check that everything is okay for him. Yeah, no, that's fine. We, we, um, we, we got the fax that you, you, that you sent through. Okay, uh, gift for Elton? Check. Uh, ten bottles of still water refrigerated, ten bottles of still water room temperature. Check. Uh, fresh fruit arranged in five bowls denoting ripeness from quite ripe to ripe to very ripe to overripe to rotten. No kumquats. Check. One fun size Milky Way room temperature. Check. And the cash. Check. Oh. Well, uh, you sit down, and I'll bring him in. How'd you like that, yeah? Great, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. What? Who put those flowers there? You did. I don't care. I'm still not doing it. I hate interviews. I loathe them. And that Jamie Thigston's an abomination. I know. He's an abomination. I'm, I know I'm an abomination. I'm so sorry. But please, can we do the interview? Well, where's my gift? Well, if you sit down, we'll, we'll give it to you. Right. Okay, close your eyes. Right. Come on. Nah, don't peek in. Right. Put your hands out. Right. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. I love it. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, has he got a name yet? No. Oh, I'll call it Doggy. Oh, I love it. Right. Put it in the bin. Now, what do you want to know? You recently confessed to having a drink and drug problem during the 1970s and uh, 80s. Were they unhappy times for you? Oh, very unhappy. Yeah, I don't miss it a bit. Non-stop sex, drugs and rock and roll. I'm so glad it's over. So could you really just click your fingers and get sex and drugs just like that? Yeah, but it was awful. I didn't enjoy a minute of it. That's why I only done it for about 25 years. Mm. And you're much happier now. Oh, yeah, now I met my partner, David Furnish. I'm a lot calmer. Oh, yeah, I used to throw silly tensions for no reason at all. You've over... <laughs> this is a room temperature! Someone's trying to poison me! Uh, right, I'm leaving. That's your glass, Elton. Right, I'm staying then. Um, Elton, you've managed to conquer all of your addictions, apart from one, it would seem, uh, and that's shopping. I don't think that's fair at all. I'm not addicted to shopping. Yeah, I spend £750,000 a year in Versace, but I don't think that's excessive, do you? It's quite a lot. Well, how much is a loaf of bread these days? What, 80, 90 pound? It's about that, Elton. I'm guessing you don't do your own shopping. I do. I'm in touch with the real world, you know. I go down to the local village, just like anyone else, and I do my shopping, and I mingle with the locals. They don't see me as anything special. This is the Sir Elton John village we had built for Elton last year. Yeah, but we've all got a private village in the grounds of our own home, haven't we? With actors paid to pretend not to recognise us. I mean, come on, this is the year 3000. 2000. Right, I'm leaving. Can I just ask, though, how, how, did, how did you two get together? Well, when we first met, I had no idea who Elton was. Right. Where did you first meet? Uh, we were backstage at a rock concert. No. Oh. Who was playing? Elton John. I, uh... We got talking, I got an autograph from my sister. It's funny, her name's also David. <laughs> and then we went on a date. It was really intimate. Uh, just me, Elton, Elton's manager, Elton's PA, chef, personal trainer, and his therapist, BG Caldwell. It was so intimate. Right, wh whereabouts did you go? Wimpy. Hi, the Brown Derby. <laughs> In your career, you've duetted with uh, all kinds of people. Cliff Richard, Aretha Franklin, uh, Eric Clapton, even Luciano Pavarotti. But uh, I think the question people really want answered is this. When are you going to duet again with Kiki D? Well, I did Don't Go Breaking My Heart with her in 1976. I did True Love with her in 1993. So I suppose she's due another one in, what, 2010? She does shirt ironing on the sides. Very good. Only one pound eighty a shirt. Yeah, thanks for that. Or three fifty for two. Mm -hmm. uh, Don't let the sun go down on me. Uh, with George Michael, uh, got to number one. I believe you're pretty good friends. Any plans to work with him in the future? What? <laughs> Betty Blue Tit. That's what I call her. <laughs> her. Yeah, her. He's a she. <laughs> it's Camp Deer, very witty. I give all my friends girls' names. Everyone on my payroll thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> Maybe we should give Jamie a girl's name. Yeah, huh? yeah. <laughs> so, back... Shh. He's thinking. I've got it! Betty Blue Tit! Oh no, that's George Michael's is. 
Doris Droopy Drawers. Ah, ah, ah. Brilliant, brilliant. Congratulations, my partner, David Furnish. That is brilliant. Yes, you are Doris... What was it again? Doris Droopy Drawers. Droopy Drawers. <laughs> yeah, Doris Droopy Drawers. That's your name from now on. <laughs> mm. Do you have names for each other? Yeah, yeah, I do. Doris... What is it? Yeah, I do. Doris Droopy Draws, yeah. I call her Tina Titty Titty Bam Bam. <laughs> and I call him Sir Elton John. Here, Doris. What's your name, Doris? Um, Doris Droopy Draws. <laughs> I'm so clever, I thought of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So does it work the other way? I mean, do you give uh, women men's names? Yeah, sometimes I call my mum Jeff, but she doesn't really like it. Sir Elton, you've been in the charts every year since 1971. Your tours always sell out. You're a knight. Do you have any ambitions left? Oh, yeah, there are so many things left to do. I'd love to appear as a guest on Loose Women. I'd love to have all the black adders on video. And there are loads of people who I really admire who I can only dream of meeting. Right, like, like who? Oh, Andy Andy, Bill Treacher, Yvette Fielding. But these people are very difficult to get hold of. But most of all, I'd like my relationship with my partner David Furnish to work. I do too. Oh, you, you're obviously a very close couple, but, uh, but David, is it difficult going out with someone who's so famous? You know, I never really think of the world famous singer Sir Elton John as famous. I mean, you know I don't love you for your extreme wealth or global fame or power. No, I, I love you for your personality, uh, your kindness. Your hair? 